Hey, I'll welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is one of important and most awaited series of YouTube. So basically, I'm planning to give you a new playlist related to one of important cloud technology. Yes, I'm talking about the Office 365. So you know about the Office 365 is a platform, means you can say that cloud-based platform where we can manage our mailing services. So I'm planning to give you the complete content related to the mailing services over Office 365 portal. Like you know that I have already uploaded multiple uh, playlists regarding the cloud technology. Like uh, you can find the videos related to AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud. So now I'm going to give you another playlist and these playlists can help you uh, to understand about how we can manage the mailing services and this series is fully dedicated to beginner expert and uh, our experienced guys as well so i'll try to complete the entire i'll try to cover the entire content based on the uh, microsoft content so let's try to understand about the basic of mailing services we'll try to compare our uh, on premises exchange and discuss about the uh, online exchange and about Office 365 portal, admin portal and uh, about Azure Active Directory services as well. So as we know that mailing service is really important for every organization because uh, you know that uh, each and every organization need to establish our mailing conversation. So uh, if we talk about the difference between, let's start from very basic like as uh, if you want to set up your mail environment, so we have a two different way. Uh, like you can establish your on-premises mail environment and second you can proceed with any cloud provider it may be uh, like in case of any basically I'm talking about the office 365 although we have another option to establish our environment like as uh, with the help of Google suit or uh, you can establish your mailing services with the Amazon web services and uh, another like Google Cloud also provide option to create our mailing environment. But here we are talking about the core mailing service Office 365. So let's try to understand about the gap or difference between on-premises mailing setup and Office 365. So in case of on-premises, what you need to do, if you want to set up your mail server environment, you must need to establish at least uh, one domain machine. I'm talking about the Active Active Services. And uh, second, you need to establish another server where we can is install the um, uh, exchange server. So for example, this is our domain machine. You can configure on any operating system like as uh, it may be server 2012, 2016, 2019 or 2022. So but you must need to establish at least one uh, domain controller. Second, you need to establish another hardware where we can install exchange server, right? So n number of exchange server version are available like as uh, uh, we can proceed with uh, 2010 or uh, 2013 or uh, 2017 like that n number of version n number of uh, uh, exchange version are available so you can select any of them and uh, you need to install the exchange server you must need to associate it with domain controller and with the help of active directory users we are able to configure the mailboxes. Means in case of on-premises, definitely we will get a lots of security. But in case of uh, maintenance and troubleshooting, you are responsible to manage each and everything. Like related to the software issues, you are, is you are responsible to manage the uh, troubleshooting related to software activity. I'm talking about the application troubleshooting. And you are responsible to manage and maintain the hardware resources that you implemented as well. So basically, this is, you can say, the traditional uh, way to set up our mailing services. But nowadays, most of organizations are, you can say, that up to 90% organizations prefer to establish our mailing services with the help of Office 365 portal. So our agenda, our motto to understand about how we can start working with uh, uh, Office 365 portal and uh, how we can uh, set up our uh, domain and creating a mailboxes, how we can assign the distributed list, mail flow and about uh, uh, active directory, I'm talking about the hybrid environment. So we'll try to understand about each and every content based on Microsoft, uh, Microsoft documentation based on the blueprint of Microsoft. So this is the way that you can use to establish your mailing services on premises, talk about the Office 365. 
So basically Office 365 is a type of portal means you can say that it's an online platform. You just need to open office.com, right? And you need to sign up yourself. You need to create your own account. It may be free trial or a number of uh, licenses are available. So we will discuss about the licenses as well. So you need to create your account over uh, Office 365 and purchase uh, at least one free trial license. And this is valid for 30 days means you can uh, uh, create your free trial account over Office 365 portal for the uh, testing purpose or for the training purpose you can say that. And uh, no, no, no any credit or debit card required to sign up ourselves over Office 365. So uh, I hope you understand about the gap or difference between on-premises and Office 365. The benefit of Office 365 panel we are not responsible to uh, manage hardware resources. We are not responsible to make any changes or uh, uh, troubleshoot the hardware. No hardware required. Okay, and uh, you can say that easy to implement, right? Easy to use or you can see, say that easy to implement. And easy to troubleshoot as Okay, fine. So let's try to understand about how we can create a free trial account over Office 365. For this particular task, you just need to open any browser and just need to type uh, Microsoft uh, 365. Just need to open this particular URL. I'll, I'll mention in description box as well. And uh, need to click on product. Under the product, n number of products are available. So we need to proceed with the uh, uh, for enterprise because we are planning to establish our mailing services. So you need to proceed with the enterprise environment See plans and pricing. We just need to click here and we don't need to purchase any kind of license for the training purpose or uh, You can say that for a learning purpose. No need to uh, purchase any license So these all are the details which is available and number of plans are available like as e3 e5 f3 and number of plans are available and you can uh, uh, as for your requirement, you can proceed with any of them. So our agenda to understand about the services related to Office 365. So that's why I'm going to proceed with free trial. See all uh, frontline plans. So let me check if uh, any free trial options are available. Okay, just need to click here. It gives us an option to proceed with free trial. See, we have option of try for free. We just need to click here without using any credit or debit card we are able to uh, use the Microsoft services okay you need to provide uh, any mail ID it's not mandatory mandatory to use your uh, uh, Outlook ID or Microsoft ID if you want to if you want to use your Gmail account so it is also possible so I'm just going to uh, use my Gmail account Tech info 1988 at gmail.com. Okay, this is my Gmail account. I'm going to use this particular account to uh, sign up ourselves over our Office 365 account. So you need to provide the basic information like I'm going to proceed with Teach Me Cloud. Okay, and you need to provide your contact number. Okay, fine. So your organization name, Teach Me Cloud. And click Next. You will receive a one verification code so you can proceed with Text Me. Enter the code that you received. So I'm still waiting. Just need to wait uh, 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, it's 960 970 575 575, right? We just need to click verify. Cool. 
So now your default ID is ready to use for free trial access. Teach me cloud at the rate teach me cloud 552 dot on microsoft.com this is the default domain name which is provided by microsoft although we have option to change it i'll guide you how you can change your own domain how you can add your custom domain provide any password it's up to you i'm just going to proceed uh, my uh, common password just need to provide password detail click next so guys this is the way to create your free trial account over office 365 without using any credit or debit card because you know that uh, every cloud, if you want to sign up yourself on, uh, on AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, you must need to provide your car detail, right? So, but in case of Office 365, no need to use any kind of credit or debit card. Now, our mail ID is ready to use. I'm just going to log in our dashboard of Office 365 and try to understand about how many how many licenses you will be get in case of uh, uh, F3 free trial. So I hope you all of you understand about the procedure, how you can create your own free trial account. So now we just need to provide basic information like uh, Okay, just need to give us a basic detail and save it. Okay, you need to provide your uh, uh, GST number or fan number. And save it. As per the internet speed, it will take a minimum, maximum one or two minutes and everything is okay now it's a final step that you final information that you need to provide and after that you are able to access the office 365 services so you just try to refresh the page and you will be get the access of every product which is included in f3 cool so we successfully uh, Got a 25 user license means we are able to create up to 25 different mailboxes with the help of F3 license and the F3 license is fully free for 30 days means we have a huge day to understand about the Office 365 services right so this is our page of Office 365 and you are able to find n number of options which is available uh, which is help us to manage the uh, office 365 services right so let me show you the admin panel and another options which is available i don't want to add any domain i'm just going to open our office 365 home page fine so this is our uh, uh, Office 365 admin dashboard and you are able to perform entire tasks like as uh, you can configure your user account mailboxes share mailboxes you can manage online exchange admin or admin center active directory services each and every options are available in this particular panel so I hope you all of you understand about the concept how we can create a free trial account and if you have any doubt, if you have any uh, questions, so please uh, drop a comment and definitely we'll try to uh, give you the proper solution, right? So in next video, I'll guide you how you can create a user account, how you can assign the license to our user account. So this is all access means you are able to manage each and everything related to the mailing services with the help of free time. So that's it guys, this is for uh, first class of our Office 365, we'll connect soon with another video, thank you, take care.
and please do subscribe your teach me cloud youtube channel because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical without skipping any step okay everyone thank you take care bye bye